Hey, I'm Jesse Broadwater. And I'm Chelsea with the Pink Arrow Project. Join together with us and other passionate archers from all around the globe in the Taking Aim at Cancer Challenge 2018 to defeat cancer in my lifetime. Greg Poole with Bow Junkie Media. I'm here with Darren Christianberry. We're at the 2018 ASA in Augusta, Georgia. Let's take a moment and look at the participants in our known pro shoot down. Nathan Brooks, Alma, Arkansas. Justin Hanna, Asheville, North Carolina. Jacob Marlowe, Florida. Garrett Ayersman, Morgantown, West Virginia. Jesse Broadwater, Allenton, Florida. All right, everybody, this is Greg Poole at Junkie Media with 2018 Augusta, Georgia, ASA. This weekend's coverage brought to you by AAE, Arizona Archery Enterprises. I'm here with Elite Pro Staff Manager, Darren Christianberry, and we are on to the known pro guys. This one should be good. It's a super tight race. These guys have mad skills, and I'm excited to see what happens here. No doubt about it. We got Nathan Brooks and Justin Hanna and Jacob Marlowe at 454s, and Garrett and Garrett Ayersman and Jesse Broadwater at 452s. And yes, folks, that's 52 and 54 up. <laughs> Big time. Absolutely. So I think you're going to see plenty of bonus rings here. You come out here shooting center tens, you just might as well go home. I see some high arrows. Nathan wow. Brooks comes out with a 14. So we talked about that in the pre-cap. It looks like he's going to have the aggressiveness. Yeah, I believe so. All right, here we go. Justin Hanna. Justin Hanna. Eight. That's going to hurt. So here we go. Jacob Marlowe. Yes, Jacob Marlowe on the turkey. Jacob's kind of shaking his head down there a little bit. There is a little bit of wind out there, too. It's got to be a factor on these longer targets. It does. And we thought that uh, we'd be a 10 for Marlowe. We thought we'd actually be getting to these about 6, 6.30. <laughs> right. A little earlier than that. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's, it's only 5.45. Wow. Five for Garrett Ayersman. That's probably going to put a wrap on his day in this class. That, that, that's going to make it a tough hill to climb. Here we go, Jesse Broadwater with a 10. So Jesse needed a bonus ring right there, I think, to stay in the hunt. But uh, let's go to the PSC leaderboard and see how it shakes out. All right, Darren, here we go. This is arrow number two in the known pro here at the ASA in Augusta, Georgia. This weekend's coverage brought to you by AAE. What do we have going on that first arrow? Nathan Brooks came out mashing the gas and hit a 14 and extended his lead to help his cause. And he was the only one that did anything to help his cause, the to be honest one with that you. Hit a bonus ring. A couple of eights were shot. They backed up a little bit. But I'd have lost that. I'd have lost that bet. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think Nathan would come out gun. Now, I think he'll back it up with another one here. Or oh, sure try. On the on the boar close. The closest target. Yeah, absolutely. If he went for the deer, I don't know why he wouldn't go. Right. He may not, since guys shot eights though, he may go for a twelve here to try not to try not to cough anything up or give yeah. back any. Unless he can see it real good. For I mean, sure. If, if he can see it real good, then why not? If he can see, um, he knows how far it is. And like you folks there watching at home, the vortex yardage graphic was in his hand. Yes. So he knows exactly how far it is. Nathan with 22 seconds left on the clock. Aiming for a good bit down there, Darren. Ooh, looks like a little bit of a left arrow there, so we'll see if it's high enough. So here we go. Garrett Ayersman on the long deer. And eight for Garrett Ayersman. Puts him at 465 now. Here we go, upper 12 Jacob called on the Coyote. 
10 for Jacob. Moves him to 474. This is not what I was expecting. No, no. I know the wind's a little bit of a factor. It's actually blowing at our back now. Yeah. Justin Hanna on the turkey is going to be a 12. Nice shot. Bonus ring on that turkey will be a, that, that'll be a good move. For sure, moves him to a 474. Him and Jacob are now tied again. Here we go, Nathan Brooks. A wow. five for Nathan Brooks. That hurts, that hurts Nathan right there. I hate to there. see that for Nathan. He held a super long time right there. Yeah, that hurts. Jesse Broadwater with a 14. And he takes the lead Jesse now, Broadwater. 476. Jesse Broadwater comes out trying to do a repeat of Paris. Look, look out, boys. That's right. Let's go to the PSE leaderboard. All right, Darren, here we go. This is arrow number three arrow in the known pro. Three. We had a pretty big shift there in the, oh, at, that last arrow. What happened? Nathan held for a really long time on the closest target there, hit a little bit left, took a five, went from first to last. And I think Jesse Broadwater's on this closest bore right here. It wouldn't surprise me to see him try to go for another 14 because yeah. after that Paris performance, I think Jesse realizes that the 14's elite. I believe he's going to shoot at it. And he lets down. That's a good shot right there. That's a, With, excuse me. That's a good decision. Yeah, he's got 27 yes. seconds right now. Plenty and, of time for him. I was pointing out earlier. This is a slight downhill grade, so it's going to help you aim a little bit better, and your mm -hmm. shots are going to break clean. He hit anchor with 17 seconds. I think that's plenty. Oh yeah, Jesse's Jesse's still at full draw here. Looks like Jesse was going for. Looks like Jesse's going for another 14. Did Jesse shoot X-10s all weekend? No, he did not. He switched arrows for this wind. Yes, he did. A 14 for Garrett Ayersman. Put, puts him and, at 479. Uh, with this little bit of wind here, I got to tell you that Jesse's shooting the new prototype AAE. 14 for Jesse Broadwater. Jesse's shooting the new prototype AAE stabilizers. They are a half inch in diameter. And he's shooting X-10s, yes. X-10 Pro Tours that cut the wind like crazy. Yep, so he has every wind advantage you can have out there. 12 for Nathan Brooks, that's a good recovery right for there. Sure. So Jesse's shooting tiny arrows, tiny stabilizer, and he's still Jesse, so <laughs> that's- It's working. That's working. Justin Hanna on the, on the Yodi with a 10. Puts him at 484. All right, things are uh, getting a little bit exciting here in the Gnome Pro, Darren. 12 for Jacob Marlowe. There's Jacob getting on the ring board right there. Puts him at 486. So J Jesse Broadwater with back-to-back -back 14s. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard and take a look. All right, Darren, here we go. This is arrow number four in the known pro here at the Augusta, Georgia ASA. This weekend's coverage brought to you by AAE. All right, Darren Christian Berry, things are, uh, things are moving. I, I mean, it's hard to say Jesse's went from fifth to first because there was only a two-point swing. He was just listed at the bottom. Exactly, exactly. He's hit a couple of rings, and he's done what he's had to do, and he's got a lead right now. And he's got some, he's got some favors. Nathan shot a five. Uh, Garrett, Garrett Ayersman shot a five. Mm -hmm. Jacob, Jacob came out and shot several tens. Yeah. I so did he's got some a minute help. ago, too. I said Nathan went from first to last. He did not because Garrett started out with a five and an eight. So oh, gotcha. apologize to Nathan there. He didn't go. He went back to fourth place, though. But There you go. So who, who do we got here? Five for Justin, Justin. Hanna. Moves him to 489. 
All right, Nathan Brooks on the Yodi. A five for Nathan. There you go. Jesse Broadwater looks over and takes a deep breath. He knows what this means. Wow. Jesse Broadwater. What is he catching? He does have it. Five for, for Jesse. Jesse Broadwater. That is definitely not what he needed to do right there. This is getting more interesting. Oh, I can't believe Jesse did that. That's incredible. 14 for Garrett Ayersman. 493 for Garrett. Wow. Jesse wow. Broadwater is going to take a huge step backwards right there. Jacob Marlowe with a wow. 14. And now Jacob takes the lead. He's got 500 points. Wow. That is incredible. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard and check it out. All right, everybody, Greg Poole here with uh, Bojunkie Media. We're at Darren Christianberry. We're heading into our fifth air when the known pro here. We have a message from Nathan Brooks uh, who says, Nathan says he'd like to give a shout out to my brother, Randy Dennis. Keep digging and climbing for everything you got. I love you, brother. That's a message from Nathan Brooks out there to Randy Dennis. So, uh, What's get, up, Randy? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Absolutely. Get, get well soon, and uh, Nathan and everybody sends their love. So here we go, Darren. This is uh, this has got awful exciting, awful quick. Jesse Broadwater had a lead, and literally is now five points. It, it's I'm a little bit in shock. Yeah, and 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 Jacob hits a 14. Now he's got a five point lead. Where'd that come from? There you go. And Jacob Marlowe's actually mic'd up right now, so I'll be curious to see. Uh, he's also what we on get the here. shortest target, so I would say you smash the 14 here and make him come get you, boy. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, he's and he ain't scared to do it. <laughs> Looks like he went it. for it too. He went at Looks it. Looks like he went for it. Jesse Broadwater needs to do something here on this Coyote. That's just all there is to it. I mean, Jesse's got a – I don't see Jesse with a high arrow down there, so it doesn't – look like he went for the 14. So Nathan, Nathan went Brooks for a 14. going down there. All right, Justin Hanna on the deer. And eight. Eight for Nathan. Justin Hanna, excuse me. 497 for Justin now. All right, let's look at uh, Jacob Marlowe and eight. So he's going to give some at, back. Uh, if, Jesse can, if Jesse can get a bonus ring right here, he'll yeah, get back at it. That puts Jacob at 508. All right, here we go. Garrett Ayersman with a 10. 10 on the, on Moves the turkey. Moves him to 503, five points behind Garrett Jacob. Ayersman. So here we go. 10 for Jesse Broadwater. So he is three points behind Jacob now with a 505. Oh, here we go. Nathan Brooks on the big deer. 14 for Nathan Brooks. And that'll He's going to climb his way back into that'll it. That'll move Nathan to a 504. So we have Jacob at 508 with the lead. Absolutely. So uh, apparently in this class, it's OK to shoot a five when everybody else does it too. <laughs> exactly. I'm, right. I'm a little in awe. All right, let's go to the PSC leaderboard. All right, Darren, here we go. We got uh, the sixth and final arrow right over here. Don has stepped back on a quartering away heavy. This is uh, this is going to be incredibly interesting right here. Pretty good poke. This will be the longest. Well, I don't know if that heavy will be quite as long as the other one, but this is not this is not the usual uh, sixth arrow distance. No. Jake's got to be happy right here. Jacob Marlowe's got to be happy. They're shooting a bomb of a javelina. And he's got a three-point lead. So a 40.5 yard heavy. 40 and a half yards per Jacob Marlowe. 
It's probably 47. It's it's probably 40. It's probably 47. He just said 40 and a half and set his sight on 47. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Garrett Ayersman is up on the 40 and a half yard heavy. This is a this is a this is not an easy one. Mm -mm. Garrett is sitting at a 503. Jacob is leading at a 508. So there's a five point spread from first to fourth right now. And you know Jesse Broadwater's just sick to his stomach right now. They all are. I would think everybody made a mistake out there and made this a really close race. Yeah, this has absolutely been an incredible shoot down. Here's Garrett Ayersman. Looks like a looks looks like he went at the 12 hard. Right. 12 for Garrett Ayersman. Garrett, that puts him at a 5.15. That's solid on that, Darren. That's for solid. Sure. For sure. Here you go, Nathan Brooks, who crawled his way from the top to the top to the near the bottom to back to the, I mean, yeah. what in the heck is going on out here? So Nathan needs a 12 to get past Garrett now. A 10 will just put him at a 514, one point behind Garrett. Right. So is, is is it even worth going for that? Or do you, sh I mean, do you go for it all? Or do you go for the safe spot? I'm not sure because Jacob's going to hit a 10 if it gets down to it. So sure. Nathan, if he shoots a 5, goes to 509. If he shoots an 8, he goes to 512. If he shoots a 10, he still could finish fourth. So he may have to shoot for the 14 here. And how about how big is the 14 on that heavy? About the size of a quarter. Perfect. At 40.5 yards. On a little black blob with some white paint streaks on it. It's not right. easy to see. Now, with, Nathan. With a little Nathan, bit of swirling wind. Nathan won't have as tough of a time Ooh, finding it. Look, look at that wind right now. Yeah. He can, look doesn't down. shoot a lens, so he no. can silhouette this thing really good. Yeah, but look at the wind down at the target. Yeah, that it's is, blowing crazy. Oh, Those yes, it is. Moving. He yes, shoots a big is. Super Drive 27, too. Oh, man, this is – there we go. Looks like a looks like a center 10 there for Nathan, but uh, we'll have to wait. Puts him at 5'14". Wait and see what our final, final call is right there. And a 10 for Nathan Brooks. All right, here we go. One point behind Garrett. And Probably the plot thickens. It, the plot thickens exponentially. A 10 will tie him with Garrett. A 10 will tie him with Garrett. A 12 gives him the lead. But still, Jacob Marlowe, what's it? I mean, even if he hits a 12 here, what does Jacob have to do? Uh, Jacob has to hit a 10 yeah. to win it. So, so I, for all intents and purposes, I don't see Jesse going for a 14 here. No. Not on this target. Not winning the last two tournaments. It's not a money issue. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we we'll go. We'll see what happens. We certainly will. Going to be. And you can see from the screen there that Jesse has definitely changed his form over the last couple of years, going with the going with the more straighter elbow than he ever did. He is back to the two finger pick mm -hmm. though. Shoots Shoot an that. incredible line with a two finger release. Oh, it's ridiculous. Absolutely exic ridiculous. Looks like he was going for the upper 12. And a 12 for Jesse Broadwater. That moves him to a 517, two points above Garrett Ayersman. So if so, Jacob hits a 10, he's going to be your champion. There you go. He does. All right, here we go, Darren. This is uh, here we go. This is uh, all all Jacob needs to do here is shoot a ten, and uh, he will be your 2018 Known Pro champion. He actually won this event, his first win last year, which is absolutely incredible. So here we go. Center ten for Jacob Marlowe. And Jacob Marlowe will be your repeat 2018 Augusta, Georgia ASA champion in the known pro. This is your 2018 ASA Augusta known pro shot of the shootdown. That would be Jesse Broadwater's five. Jesse was rolling. 
hitting bonus rings, had momentum, had taken the lead. He shoots that five, upsets the cart, and completely opens the door for the field. No doubt about it. Jesse was, was killing it. He was shooting the 14s, doing what he needed to do. He had all that momentum. Mm -hmm. The other guys were, were kind of struggling as well, and he literally could have ran away with it. Drops that five, allows Jacob Marlowe to come back, and he never looked back. All right, everybody, Greg Poole here with Bow Junkie Media. We are with your 2017 and 2018 Augusta, Georgia, ASA known pro champion. How's that feel? Uh, it feels pretty good, man. Uh, just had a pretty good season so far. I'm glad to uh, get another win under my belt. Absolutely. So you won this event last year. It was your first win. And since then, you have been on quite a tear. You have literally been uh, either in it or winning it most every time and so talk to us a little bit about what you've done strategy wise either with your practice your shooting your mentality since your first win to become such a force in one year uh, well I mean I actually uh, I've won this tournament this year in the past two years I won it I switched this tournament from my first known tournament right. and uh, I won it and then uh, it just kind of built confidence from there to keep going on and going on and going forth and then I started shooting pretty well indoors, so it started building my confidence for outdoors, and I just kind of tried to translate it into this. All right, so so let's talk about shooting fives. We uh, we don't generally see the known pros dropping nickels down there and then recovering, but in this shoot down, Nathan, you just I mean, what was going through your mind as some of those some of those single digit scores were getting posted? Uh, well, I mean, I was trying to keep in the 10 ring, so I love seeing the uh, single digits posted. But, no, this wind's crazy coming off of this river. It's extremely gusty, and there's just no telling what you're going to get when you get to full draw. All right, so uh, I assume you're going to be in Reading next week. Yep, uh, it's got to go uh, refletch when I get home and uh, get a little better marks, and I'll be there. All right, so uh, give, us your, uh, give us your plan for Reading. Who are you shooting with, and how many times have you actually been out to Reading before? I've been there two or three years. Uh, Garrett Ayersman's my partner. He's been my partner there every year. Uh, I go out there, I ride with some friends, and uh, we got our little group that shoots together every year. And, uh, you know, we just always have a good time. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations, and keep up the good shooting. I'll work on it. <laughs>